every single decision you make in your life is either blessing the whole or it's, it's a decision for an illusion. Every decision without exception. And Jesus does say that decisions are continuous but you are not always aware you are making them. So this unconscious mind thing, it's, it's, it's pretty devious stuff. When decisions are pushed out of awareness, they become beliefs. They are no longer questioned whether their validity is true. They are believed to be true. A decision is a conclusion based on everything that you believe. So the decision is not going to be free. It's not going to really be a free choice until you raise the shadow up into conscious awareness. That's probably the, the saddest aspect of the human condition is the belief that there's all these external forces and conditions that are outside of you that are twisting and determining how your state of mind is going to be. I'm a victim. Yeah, like a victim at the mercy of a vast external world. And how exciting to think that we are here to support each other for a brand new way of living. You know, we don't know what form that will take. Um, I never could tell the way, the direction, the form of the life of David was going, but I, I valued equality. I valued open communication. I valued respect. I valued uh, having ideas shared and allowing a whole group of ideas to be shared, trusting that there was a presence among me and my brothers and sisters that was strong enough to carry us all through, instead of trying to turn away and take stances and take sides and make walls and make boundaries that we could actually learn to live in harmony by having a free flow and a free exchange and, and you might say, expression of, of ideas. Even a free chain exchange and expression of, of emotions. It's just that symbolic way. that if you've got dark thoughts that you're not afraid to hide with your trusted brother and sister, then you're not afraid to hide them from the Holy Spirit. <laughs> if you can do it with a brother and sister, then you can do it with the Spirit. And if you're afraid to share it with a brother and sister, and you want to stuff it back down and hide it again, it means you're afraid to give them over to the Holy Spirit. So in one sense, how we relate to our brothers and sisters, how we live in relationships and in community, is a direct reflection of what's going on in our consciousness. How willing are we? How trusting are we? Will you still love me if I let the shadow come up. Not that you're even trying to do it, but it's like there's a, there's a sense of I need, I need help in this. I need to hold your hand. I need to, to trust. And there's a workbook lesson in the Course that says, I trust my brothers who are one with me. Jesus is actively encouraging us, encouraging us to trust our fellow human beings and say, it's going to go much faster if you trust your hum human beings and your friends instead of running away, hiding. It's, it's really powerful. It's like a huge speed up. I'm sick.